In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process to design this travel flyer with CorelDRAW 2021. So let's jump right in. This video is brought to you by Template Monster. Template Monster is a digital marketplace of unique and creative products for designers. With Template Monster, you can pick up website templates, WordPress themes, plugins, and even graphics for your projects. As a graphic designer, you can use Template Monster to get ready-made design templates such as logos, product mockups, magazines, flyers, vectors, illustrations, fonts, and even PSD templates. And this will help speed up your workflow. And if you are good at creating design templates, you can create and sell your templates when you become an author and start making passive income. To try Template Monster for yourself, make sure you sign up with the link in the description to get amazing discount. So as it has always been, these are the resources I'll be using for this design. And I'm going to link it up on the description so you can download it and make your own design then send it to me on instagram so this is corel draw workspace and once you are on this workspace the next thing you want to do is to set the size of the flyer you want to work with so you click here and set your size to a5 and once you do that you click on your rectangle tool and set this custom shape like this then you can change the size of this shape to the original size of the a5 flyer which is 148 millimeters by 210 so you click on the shape and type here 148 and 210 and enter then you have this a5 shape then you press p on your keyboard to place it on the page you want to work with and right click here and click on set outline color to take off the outline and with that you have set your shape and the page you want to work with so next up i'm going to click on my rectangle tool and create this shape like this and once you do that you click on the shape tool and click here and drag then you create these curves just like this and once you do that you can give it this blue sky blue color and right click here and click on set outline color to take off the outline and once you do that you right click on the shape and you click on power clip inside then you click on your shape and the shape goes inside your a5 shape and once you do that you can click on your alternate press alternate on your keyboard and select the shape and take it up here click again to get this curve then you convert it this way you rotate it this way and you can adjust it again enlarge it again and place it here and this looks nice rotate it once again like this and this looks very perfect then you're going to open up the power clip and click on the shape and click on edit power clip and once you click on edit you are able to open the power clip you click on the shape again click on your interactive view tool and fill it with this blue navy blue and that looks very cool and once you do that you can adjust your fill again adjust your fill again and that's cool next up you are going to hold your shift key and hold here and reduce it this way and once you do that you are able to reduce this shape just like what you can see here so i'm reducing it and right click before you leave to duplicate the shape like this press ctrl z and it returns back to the normal position so you give it white color and that looks very fine then you can set your shape perfectly here and that looks cool and select both the shape and the white shape and take it to this other side of the design and right click before you leave to duplicate it this way select all and click and rotate it again so it looks perfect this way that looks nice the next thing you want to do is to select these other two shapes and adjust it again and take it up and this looks very perfect and fine and you can click on finish editing power clip to see how your design looks like and this looks very perfect click on edit again Click on the blue shape and drag and right click to duplicate. And once you do that, you click on your transparency tool and click on your uniform transparency to give it this transparency just like this. And once you do that, you take this up here and place it here. Then click and drag and right click before you leave. Click again and drag and right click before you leave. Then once you do that, you can select the three shapes and press ctrl g to group then you reduce it again like this and place it here press ctrl page down to send these shapes to the back and you can see the shapes have gone back and that looks very cool and nice then you can click on finish and once you do this 
you are able to create a template for this design and with this template we are going to place element on this template to create our design and make our design perfect so you're going to click on ellipse to press control on your keyboard to create this circle like this and give it sky blue color right click here to take off the outline and say click on set outline color to take off the outline press sheet on your keyboard and reduce this and once you do that you right click before you leave and you have a duplicate circle inside then you click on the circle again click on your interactive field to and fill it with your navy blue again and that looks very cool i'm actually creating these shapes to make space for where i'm going to place the element for these designs so i'm going to select this and reduce it and place it here then you're going to reduce it again and reduce it again and this looks fine then you can increase this white circle again and this looks very perfect so this is the template i'll be working with and i'm going to reduce increase this circle like this again and place it here it looks fine it looks fine and then i'm going to open up my microsoft word and copy out all the text i have for this design then you click on the text to click here and press ctrl v to paste this text you can leave it at discard font and formatting okay and once you do that the text comes up here and that's fine then you're going to select speedy travel and press ctrl x to cut and click here and paste click here close this and break it like this then you press ctrl k to break this text you change the typeface to death star so this is the typeface i'll be working with here and you click on the travel and change it to death star as well then you're going to create this uh shape like this click on your rectangle tool and create this shape like this you click on the shape tool and click here to rotate this way and it's fine then you give it this sky blue color and right click here to take off the outline you click on set outline color now why i keep clicking on set outline color is CorelDRAW 2021 does not work the same way other versions of CorelDRAW work. So you have to right click and click on Save Outline Color to be able to do this process. Then you click on your interactive field tool and fill it with your navy blue. And this looks very cool. Fill it this way and it's fine. And then you're going to do a little manipulation here. Click and drag and right click before you leave. Then you press shift on your keyboard and reduce this this way. And place it here click and drag and right click to duplicate then you're gonna duplicate this again you can make this one longer and duplicate this again here and reduce this and keep it here and that looks fine click on this and leave it here then you can increase this a little press shift and increase it this way and place it here then with this you can select all and click on weld to weld all this stuff together then you click on speedy and take it up here press ctrl page up to bring it to the top increase it again and give it white then bring your travel down here and increase it again then you can select all and bring it here then increase again and place it here and this looks very perfect click on travel and give it orange color and this looks very nice and with that we are almost getting there next thing you want to do is to click on explore the wall select and press ctrl x on your keyboard to cut click here and press ctrl v to paste and then click on this and break it again and press ctrl k to break this then you change the typeface to death star and you can see how it looks like it looks very cool increase it again click on the world and do the same again death star change the typeface to death star and increase it and place it here this looks very cool and nice then select all and press l to align it to the left and bring it here you can increase this again and it looks very fine you click on explore and give it sky blue color Press Ctrl on your keyboard and click on sky blue. Click on sky blue 
to reduce the blue remember how we added navy blue sorry it's actually navy blue then you use sky blue to lighten the color a little then you click on the word and give it orange color and this looks very cool and nice and with that we are going to arrange every other text before i bring in the pictures i have for this design okay then i'm going to arrange this click on we take you at the lowest weight i like that and press ctrl x and bring it down here and paste it here then you change the typeface to open sans okay that the typeface then you change the size to 10 points and bring it down here then Press shift on your keyboard and select this and press L to align that to the left. You can take it upwards a little and it looks very cool and nice there. And next thing you want to do is to select this and press Ctrl X again. Click here and paste. And you click here to break it and you click here to break. Then you press Ctrl K on your keyboard to break the text. And select all and keep it here for now. Then we do this little editing but before then you click here and select your pen tool and create this straight line like this and once you do that you are able to change the outline width to one point or leave it at two points and that will be better and then you create your shape with this with your uh, rectangle tool you create this shape like this and then you click on your shape tool and increase it like this and this looks very fine and nice then you can fill it the same way with this one okay i think i should use this circle bring in this circle here right click once you click and draw and right click you're able to duplicate then you right click and bring to this shape and once you bring it here you are able to see these options where you can click on copy fill here and once you do that you have this fill here so you click again and right click here and click on set outline with to take up the other and then you can de delete this other one and then with that you are able to create this shape then click here and reduce this again to duplicate and once you do that you have two shapes then you mirror this shape horizontally and mirror it again vertically then you have this type of effect here click again hold here and drag to align it very well and this looks very nice then you click on your pen to and create this angle like this triangle like this and that looks fine press it on your keyboard and select the circle and select the shape inside and click on your weld and this looks very cool and nice then once you do that you select this and this and bring it here press ctrl page up to send it to the top and change the font to death star and once you do that it looks very cool you give it white color and reduce it again you press c on your keyboard to centralize you click on package and take it upwards a little to make it closer to vacation then you increase it again and this looks very cool and next thing you want to do is to double click this close this and bring it down and it looks cool press ctrl k on your keyboard to break the text and change this to open sans and that looks nice make it bold and bring it here then you can increase this again and place it here then you can allow the color to be at uh at 70 percent black it's okay then you click on flight three night here and change the typeface to open sans as well and change the font size to 10 and place it here and it looks very cool and nice then with that you can reduce this and place it here and make sure it's all aligned to the left so this looks very cool at this point you place this here it looks very fine and next thing you want to do is to select this or okay change the typeface to open sans and bring it down here and change the font size to 11 and place it exactly here then you can select this and make it bold and give typeface orange and that looks very cool then you click here and click on shape to to adjust your tracking and it looks very nice then you can make this bold again ctrl b and that looks very cool then you give it this navy blue color and that looks very nice then it's time for me to place the 
pictures i have for this design then i open up the folder where i have all these resources and bring it into my design and once you place this here it all opens up you just have to be patient to open up all these resources because they're actually large resources and i got all of them from freepick.com these resources are very much amazing they are all amazing resources so i'm going to reduce this and place it here reduce this okay that's fine then right click on this image and click on power clip inside and click on this and it goes inside the shape so next thing you want to do is to click on the shape and click on edit and once you do that you are able to open the power clip so you click and drag right click and bring it to this white shape and leave then you click on power clip inside and the shape and the image goes inside the power clip so you press alternate on your keyboard and select the picture and bring it down here and you can reduce this picture like this and it looks very cool take it to this other side and it looks very cool then you click on finish and then it's done you click on right click on the airplane and click on power clip inside and click here and the airplane goes inside the power clip and once you do that you press alternate on your keyboard select the airplane and bring it down here then you reduce it again and bring it here and now you need to overlap this airplane essentially the way that it overlaps here and overlaps here then you place it here and that looks very cool you can increase the airplane again increase it again and that looks very fine then you click on this picture right click and click on power clip inside and click on this circle so it power clips inside the circle press alternate on your keyboard and select this picture and adjust it this way and this looks very cool and nice then with that we are almost done with this design then you reduce this icon and make it equal with these other icons and place them together like this select all and press e then once you do that you group all and press ctrl g to group and bring it down here and reduce it again and bring it down here then with this you're going to type here um, at speedy travels. Then you change the typeface to open sans and click on italics to make it italics like this and bring it here. And this is done. Sorry. Then you reduce this again. And ensure this typeface is about 10 points. Then you reduce these icons and bring this bring this here. So this looks very fine. Press Ctrl G to group and make sure you align it to the left as well. And this looks cool. And with this, we are at the end of this design. I can click this and bring it down a little. And if possible, you increase it a little. So it aligns very well. And this looks very Cool. So with this, we are done with our design. Press Ctrl G to group. Press Z on your keyboard and zoom it out like this. So let's see how our design looks like. So this is the final look of this design. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned new things from this tutorial, leave a like on this video, subscribe, and make sure you comment on what are your thoughts about this design. Just three minutes and you are done. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you next time.